Friends, you'll be amazed at the profundity of these remarks. <laughs> no. Um, the first thing I want to say before I inadvertently forget, um, subsumed in the profundity of my own remarks, is I would like to say thank you to some people. Um, first of all, to Brian Chappelle, to Valerie McCants, and to Betsy Carnes, who's not here, but um, I so appreciate all the work that they did, and you can't even see only like the tip of the iceberg. They were here the whole time, and helped organize, so I really want to thank them very much. I want to thank um, the Gentines, who are members of our advisory council, and who came and stayed for the whole conference. I appreciate that very much, as well as your support. Friends, I want to thank the contributors. I, I feel as though I've received a great gift listening to your, to your um, contributions. I really feel that this was offered in the spirit of gift and the spirit of a kind of new adventure. I receive it as a gift myself, and I appreciate your coming. I want to recognize especially our scholars from the Institute, the Marion Library at Dayton, who've come to, um, to be here with us, too, but everybody. So thank you all. And if I, I don't remember, th there is the Rosary for Life this evening, friends. Father Jenkins is saying it. That's at 6.30, and it's, in the, it's at the grotto, unless it's too cold, and it'll be in the, um, in the basilica. Um, I want to close with a prayer, but before I do that, just a couple of, I, I can't make sense of my notes anymore. I have so many thoughts, but s some of the gifts that I think I received from the conference um, came in the form to me of, well, why didn't this happen or why didn't that happen? For example, um, why didn't the renewal of scripture studies inspire a new Mariology instead of seeming to thwart it? For example, why didn't we get a Mariology that focused on Mary's faith? Or why didn't we get a Mariology that um, took advantage of the presence of the Spirit in the scriptures and developed the connection between Mary and the, and the Spirit instead of seeming to have suppressed it. But instead of saying, why didn't, um, why not say, here's a place where we could go forward. Um, find that energy. It's there. And take it and use it uh, now that we have all the perspective that we have. Another why didn't, which I want to rephrase, why didn't the church in the modern world, the attention to the church in the modern world with all of its awareness of the specificity of cultural reality, why didn't that generate a kind of renewed Marian theology? Um, especially as the, uh, our reflections in the, in the presentation and some of the inter interventions on art have showed us, there's a lot of possibility and energy there. Why didn't it happen? Well, I decided, instead of asking why didn't it, John, this could be, that's another point of energy for where we can go from here. Um, why didn't the emphasis on spirituality that has come to enter in the, into theology, as we heard from Larry's talk and from Peter Casarella's talk, why didn't that energy promote a renewal in Marian theology? But instead of asking why didn't it happen, we're here and we can be the agents of the renewal of taking that energy now and moving it forward. Why didn't the liturgical movement and all the emphasis on liturgy generate a profound renewal of Marian theology out of these sources as Father Neil Roy was showing us and others. But instead of asking why didn't it, why don't we take that energy and move it forward so you can see the way that in many ways, um, I feel like I've gotten beyond a block in my soul which is asked why didn't it? And I have a lot of ways now of thinking about instead of why didn't it, let's use these things and, we, and move forward so that we realize the promise of Lumen Gentium, instead of asking all the time, this is me, I'm a negative person, why didn't it happen? <laughs> instead, like, let's, I think one of the signs of the times that we, we noticed, maybe I noticed um, as a gift of the conference, was a kind of divorce between the Lex Orandi, or a dislocation here, not, not, not simple as a divorce, a dislocation between Lex Orandi and Lex Credendi. Um, 
looking at that a little bit more closely, but also to think about even that, the insight that there is such a dislocation, what mediates between lex orandi and lex credendi? Maybe you could give us the idea of our next conference. Preaching is one of them. A renewal of preaching which mediates between lex orandi and lex credendi so that all the energy that's out there in Marian devotion, for example, in Latin America, isn't just unformed energy that ends up in syncretism or something else, but the theology doesn't become an attempt to control it, like we know what we're talking about and you don't, but, which we do now, <laughs> but, um, but becomes a moment of integration, not control, that's different, um, so that it becomes a sort of power for theology. Um, so I thought maybe, Maybe one mediating principle is preaching and one mediating principle is art. How about a conference on how to preach on Mary? And maybe not even a conference, it could be like a preach-off. in which. <laughs> and I don't necessarily mean only ordained lay preaching, though I'm not disparaging that at all. I mean ordained, um, ordained liturgical preaching. But there's probably a lot of possibility for lay evangelizing preaching also here. Uh, maybe that we haven't tapped. So how to preach on Mary or a kind of preach off? I don't know. And then towards a renewed Marian iconography. Maybe that would be another um, thing to take up. Anyway, these are all ideas. You probably have many of your own. I'm only uttering them in the spirit of thank you for a gift that I feel I've received and has re affected my soul and not just my mind. So thank you so much. Thank you. Maybe, friends, while the Hail Mary is under reconstruction um, <laughs> from our talk by Father Thompson, we could say in closing the prayer of, um, that Pope Benedict XVI placed at the end of his sublime encyclical, God is Love. So I'll, I'll read it, but maybe we can all pray it together. I didn't give you the, but you can just pray it with me. Holy Mary, Mother of God, you have given the world its true light Jesus, your Son, the Son of God, you abandoned yourself completely to God's call and thus became a wellspring of the goodness which flows forth from him. Show us Jesus. Lead us to him. Teach us to know and love him so that we too can become capable of true love and be fountains of living water in the midst of a thirsting world. Amen. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>